Hello everybody. Hopefully we're recording. So we're in um, Blender Beta and we're using Eevee to um, look at this uh, project. So we're going to light it with a HDR, or rather we have lit it with an HDR. So over in the world settings, we're going use nodes and we're using this um, interior 4K HDR. Yeah, and uh, open image. The image is in here somewhere. There we go. And it's one of these. I forgot which one it was actually, but never mind. So we've loaded the image. The thing we can't do in this interface here is we can change the strength of it, but we can't change the rotation of it. So how can we rotate the HDRI image? And we need to add two nodes. We're all in the world node. We've got a node view, or actually we've got whatever it's called, shader editor, yeah. And we're looking in the world view of the different things you can do, objects and world. We're in world, and we need to add two things. One, we need to add an input. We need a texture coordinate input. I'll put that in there. And then we need a vector input, and we need a mapping input. He says, which is that one there. If we sort of go from generated to vector and vector to vector, he says, if we move it a bit, bloop, there we go. We then get the ability to rotate it using the Z. So we can ro rotate our image or our world around and find a much more interesting um, lighting angle from the HDRI. And so that's it really. Um, the only other thing you need to do is when you go to render it in renderer, you just need to do um, transparent. And currently in the build, it doesn't show that it's gone transparent, but it does make a transparent render. Uh, render. Actually, let's not make it so huge because it's huge at the minute. Um, 30%. Render, render image. There you go. It does make it transparent. It just doesn't show it in the viewport. Um, and that is a uh, an EV render, not a full-on render. But gives you an idea where you're at. And that is that. That's how to get rotation with a HDRI, HDRI image. And that's different to how I used to do it. I've got another video up there of a different way of doing it. But I saw this the other day and thought, oh, okay, that's easier. I like that. Right, with that, I'll catch you later. See you in a bit.